Hare Krishna. We will proceed on our journey with 39th verse of second chapter from the Bhagavad Gita as it is. The Sanskrit verse is as follows. Eshe te bihita sankhe buddhir yogit imam shranu buddhya yukto yaya partha karma bandham prahasyasi English translation is as follows. Thus far, I have described this knowledge to you through analytical study. Now listen as I explain it in terms of working without fruitive results. O son of Pratha, when you act in such knowledge, you can free yourself from the bondage of works. Arjun's confusion was whether to fight or not. Dilemma was around how should he act. But Krishna first wanted to help him understand his identity before coming to the discussion of duty. Therefore, in his initial set of instruction, Krishna graphically explained analysis of soul and the body. And this descriptive knowledge of the soul and the body from different angles of vision has been described here as Sankhya. Lord Krishna made an analytical description of the soul just to bring Arjun to the point of Buddhi Yoga. That is, how to work with your intelligence so that you can break free from the bondage of karma. Buddhi Yoga here refers to acquiring the intelligence that one gets from Atma Gyan, from the knowledge that I am not the body, I am the soul and using that intelligence to do yoga. Yoga means connection and buddhi is intelligence and buddhi yoga is the intelligence by which one connects to the deeper reality of life. As the flow of the Gita moves forward, we will understand buddhi yoga in its most complete sense as Bhakti Yoga. Krishna explains in later chapters how those who lovingly serve Him are given intelligence by which they can come to Him. So Buddhi Yoga ultimately at the highest level is intelligence given by Krishna by which one can return to Him. One who works for the satisfaction of the Lord however difficult such work may be, is working under the principles of Buddhi Yoga and finds himself always in divine bliss. And after leaving this body, the devotee can reach Krishna easily in the ever blissful kingdom of God. Hare Krishna, thank you very much. We will discuss 40th verse of 2nd chapter in the next episode.